Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about a time-lapse app for Android called Lapsit Pro. And I believe the Pro is $1.99, well worth it, but they do have a free one that just, I believe, limits you by the resolution that you can capture each frame. So let's go ahead and launch this. And this is the opening screen. In the opening screen, you can start a new capture, go to the gallery, go settings, and uh, in this case, I want to show you the settings. And in the settings, it lets you set the frame interval, which, which means after how many seconds or minutes, depending on the time scale, uh, it's going to take a picture. And right now it's at 60 seconds, so every 60 seconds it will take a picture. There's also a way to limit how many pictures it takes, uh, either by a timer or by a number of frames. This option is the initial delay in milliseconds, which basically allows you to set up the uh, setup without capturing up the picture of everything being set up. Or, you know, maybe you click record and you don't want that movement to be captured. This is the resolution and all these resolutions are supported. You can set the brightness level depending on your situation. You can turn off the shutter sound and you can also schedule when to start and when to end. As well as set up where the output folder is. And I will talk a little bit about what my setup is for the output folder a little bit later. Also, this software lets you render the output frames into a video and you can choose the encoder that you want to encode the video with as well as the quality and the frames per second. Now, I recommend that you use an external PC type stitcher for all these frames just because that would enable you to remove a few frames or select which uh, range of frames you want to use for your time-lapse video. So let me show you a new capture and you can use the front-facing camera as well with this. Uh, right here it shows you the setting. It, it, it's going to take a picture every 60 seconds. It's going to use the full sensor. The cancel will take you back. More will you can choose a focus mode, which is either automatic infinity, macro fix, continuous video, and face detect. And this depends on your phone. Uh, my other phone doesn't have all these options. You can also select scene, color effects, mono negative, etc., and the white balance. All right, so let me show you what happens when you start capturing. And I should change this instead of every 60 seconds. Uh, let's do every five seconds just for the uh, for this demo so it waited half a second and now every five seconds it's going to take another frame I'm going to move a little here I'm going to move a little there And now we can stop it, and it shows right here, we got six uh, frames. We can stop, and now we can play it back. And it's not much, really, for time lapse, you really need a long, long time to get something beneficial. And uh, to render it, you can press this uh, symbol right here. And it's going to ask you, do you want to render with these settings that we uh, set up before? You click continue. It's going to do it and save it as an MP4. And you can go ahead and play it. And since, since it's rendering it at 30 frames per second, just the way we asked it to, this was less than one second of a film. So if you're into time-lapse photography and uh, you, you're looking for an app to do that and use it for your with your spare phone this is a really great app to do it with my spare phone what I use I use a, an app called folder sync basically every time this app creates a, a new picture I have that uh, file transferred to my Dropbox 
and delete it off the phone. This way the phone doesn't run out of space. Plus it's nice. I have it on my computer. I could do whatever I want with this. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you know want to know what else I'm using or have any kind of questions, please put it in the comment box. Please thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time, have a great day and bye.